What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing what again is my favorite box of the month and it is the WWE Slam Crate which you can't read the front and we got a big scratch across the front there I don't know why, hopefully nothing's damaged The box is all beat yeah, up The box is like bent and everything Hopefully there's nothing damaged in here But I'm super excited to see what's in here I, I believe the thing, I don't know the exact same theme but I think it has something to do with like the greatest talkers or something along those lines so we'll just have to see what we got in here. So let's we'll go ahead and start with the, the shirt, which looks, I don't know, maybe, I have no clue. Finn Balor. That's what I was thinking. But, okay, see the teeth. So now I see Finn Balor. Okay, so that's awesome. So it's just like a tree with a ring of fire around it. And then, of course, the teeth of his, like, carnage design that he draws on his chest and stuff. And then, for proof, it does say Finn Balor on the back there and stuff. So that's, again, an awesome uh, shirt. I don't. Looks like that one's for you, bro. Ouch. Okay, so that's a cool shirt to start off. Now we have a glass, which it is a WWE mic... Ooh, it's multiple? It's a mic... It says microphone set. So on this side, it just has their normal WWE microphone. Then on the other glass, we have Enzo's micro um, special microphone that he has. So this is awesome, which, of course, it's designed after, like, the old school microphones and stuff. And so I... Obviously, by showing that, and it says set... Yeah, it contains two. I thought maybe just one big glass and stuff. I wish they would have done the Miz's microphone where you just took the, oh, the upside down design off and turned it well, upside down. Well, if you're down. drunk, you can hold the glass up. So um, that scared the crap out of me. Um, so these are just like a plastic cup, which I mean, that's lower quality, but you don't break it easy, <laughs> which is the best, which is the better thing. But of course, you can like if you're drinking, hold it like this, and then it looks like you know talking into the microphone. And stuff, and then we have Enzo's with the leopard print handle. Then, like I said, it's like the old school design. I don't know if there's a name for that and stuff, but again, you can like hold it and it looks like you know, talking into it. Hey, if like you hold it upside down, you can be Mr. Anderson. Well, Enzo actually talks sideways like this into it. But, he holds it. but yeah, if you hold it like that. You're not the realest dude in the room. But so that's awesome. Um, and like I said, since they're plastic and stuff, they're much easier to use and everything like that. Um, there's something special in here, which is what I want to hold off for and stuff. Oh, so it's Masters of the Mic. So we have a book here, which I don't know what the, I've never, they haven't put any of these books. I thought these were like those little kid books that they make, but it's just a wrestling one. But it's got, um, various people, oh, I guess that's not page. So like the first one's because, of course, sorry, of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, Austin 316, The Rock. I see on the John front Cena, picture one of your favorite uh, Roddy Piper wrestlers to impersonate in Rick there. Flair. Dusty Rhodes, baby. I'm the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. I can't do a good accent. We've got Ric Flair, styling and profiling, wheeling, dealing, airplane ride. I can't remember the thing. Limousine ride, jet flying, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So that guy right there. And then Stephanie, she's, she shouldn't be here. The Miz, because I'm the Miz, and I'm a reality TV oh, star. Awesome. And then oh. Kevin Owens. <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish it, but you weren't doing it. Oh, and then we have our belt for this month, and yeah, it's Masters of the Mic. And we have the Universal Championship belt, which of course is the belt that a lot of people hate. But on here, it does not look that bad with this, but... um. Because in real life it's got the red um, belt part, obviously extended past the um, plate on it and stuff. So this form, it doesn't look that bad. But I love these belts so much. I love putting them on my desk and stuff, just seeing all the designs. But this one's really cool. It's got a lot of color to it and everything. So that's awesome. And then we'll go ahead and open this before we get into the last thing. But they have this new set going on. I, do, I know it's an attitude-based attitude era thing. Um, so there's going to be four of them, I believe. And uh, so we have the first one here, and it's a um, Stone Cold figure. I don't know if you can see the thing like this. But of course, we're going to open it and stuff. But it's going to be four superstars, um, and they have part of a ring. And then you can obviously connect the ring together and stuff and put them all in it. And so this is just awesome. cool. I was waiting for this, super excited to get this box. So it looks like the ring's going to be pretty small, though, which, I mean, obviously makes sense. So it's just this triangle and has the WWE logo, even though um, I would have thought since this is Attitude Era, it would have been the Attitude Era version. But we have the ring belt here, or ring belt, turnbuckle is what I meant to say. Um, let's see if I can put this on properly. 
here, and then it looks like we have just fake rope or plastic pipe rope things instead of actual ropes like the old wrestling ring toys had. I don't even know if this will fit. I don't know. I don't know if I can get that. Yet. But then we have um, this stone cold figure here, which looks like it's an actual action. Okay, so I thought this whole thing was going to be just like a statue, but this is like an actual action figure. I mean, his arm doesn't feel like it moves really well but his legs do move and they're kind of like bent sideways crooked but I think that's to help him stand up on the ropes but his jacket and like necklace and stuff are loose on here and stuff and of course he has his can of soda in his hand and um, of course knee braces and uh, jean shorts and everything and of course has his um, weird heart tattoo thing on the side of his leg but like I said his legs are kind of crooked though but like I said I think that's to help him stand up on the ropes and stuff but like I was thinking I figured this would just be like a statue and he does have some bendability in his legs and stuff but I just figured it'd be a statue you know with the ring corner and this and then you just attach them together but it's a little bit cooler that's an actual separate figure but uh, I feel like you know it won't stay up because it's supposed to stand up on the side of the um, ropes and stuff like that so that's kind of disappointing but it's still really cool I love this thing of course, his, um, he has the skull on his um, shirt, and then, of course, Austin, and, and then 316. And Austin 316 said, I just whipped your ass. And so that's awesome. That's so cool. I freaking love that thing. I can't wait for those. I know, I don't want to, I was going to say, I know they've already well, said Well, I think on one. the back of the other piece. This one? Yeah. It's got uh, a photo of the next one. Yeah, it's got the next one already. So, spoiler alert, it's Triple H, which he's got his sledgehammer, which... I thought by the time he did that, it was out of the Attitude Era, um, but it's whatever, because this is supposed to be an Attitude Era type thing. I don't know if it says on here, it says WWE Slam Stars are what these are called, and this, of course, is Stone Cold, and yeah, that's all it says. Just so celebrating iconic superstars of the Attitude Era, and so, so I hope we get an Undertaker um, really bad. And then, of course, we have our uh, mag or magazine, our um, picture and information booklet here. So, again, it's got Triple H showing off the next one. And so we have our stuff here. So we have the exclusive Finn Balor shirt. So you can join the Balor Club. Um, exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. Um, that's all there really is to that. The microphone set of cups, which is, I think, really cool. The mini encyclopedia is what this... Um, book is it's so it's like their WWE encyclopedia but just a small version with the talkers and then the championship pin and then we have which is uh our like character character star of the month that they give all the information about this month is Alexa Bliss which is um kind of really cool that they did this because a lot of people have been talking how good she is on the mic recently and stuff like that and how she's one of the best like heels and stuff like that so it's really cool that they were able to add that in at a fitting time and stuff like that and so let's see what our mag or our poster is this month. Oh, The Rock. Team Bring It. I don't know if you saw our past grade stuff, but we don't care that much for Rock. Like, movie-wise, he's not that bad, but it's, in terms of wrestling, he's like a horrible wrestler. The <laughs> Rock is one of those overhyped wrestlers, just like John Cena. And then, of course, we have our box here, which I, I don't think their box is doing anything, but we have a Stone Cold... Um, little thing there in the front and it says Steve Austin's time has come and when I get the shot you're looking at the next WWE champion and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so again I can't do impersonation um, but that's awesome again I love this crate um, so what was your favorite item out of this box bro um I don't know that Stone Cold's pretty cool yeah the Stone Cold awesome like I said we'll have to figure out how to like get him I guess he'll just kind of stand there. I thought in the picture it showed him standing up on the turnbuckle, but with him being half, you can't really do that type thing. Um, but it's still really cool and stuff. Um, but that's awesome. I don't know what my favorite. I mean, it's all. It's just all good. I mean, I'll probably the Stone Cold. I mean, I love the belts. The shirt's awesome. This book is going to be cool to read and look through and stuff like that. It's just all too good. I just love the Slam Cry. I wish this was an every month box instead of every other month and everything. But that's going to be it for this box. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up or a double bird if you want to have them. <laughs> um, go ahead and leave any comments down below. And if you have anything, um, and if you like this box and everything, just give me a hell yeah down there in the comments and subscribe to see more. And we will see you next time.